In this demo, I have a table called hits with 100 million rows of analytical data and 17.6 million users in a users table. The boss wants me to run a bunch of analytics, but trying to do anything with the data set is very slow. Even counting the data will take five minutes. We don't have time for this. What we need is DuckDB. Let's start by exporting the data from Postgres to Parquet. We're going to use our data lake. We've already set up a credential by inserting one into the DuckDB secrets table. Using DuckDB, I can now copy the data to S3. I've already done this, and to make things even faster, I've cached the data using our cache feature. I'm really excited about the caching feature. There's a lot more we plan to do with it, but for now I'll have to talk about it some other time. We have work to do. So we've also created some views that wrap reading the data from Postgres uh, to DuckDB. These are stored in Postgres, but are read by DuckDB when the query is executed. These are just standard Postgres views, and the data is read from S3. So let's try our query again. This time reading from our view hits Parquet. Awesome. Took 300 milliseconds. So now let's start doing some real work. Let's run this query that gets the top users from our data set. Wow, it's completed in 900 milliseconds. This is amazing. But uh, what about our users table? Um, the boss just asked us to add email addresses. Those user IDs are not very useful. So let's join this data with our users table to get our top users with email addresses. Awesome. So we've got email addresses in here now. It's basically ready to send over to the boss. But um, let's make sure this is working as we expect. So run and explain on it. And as you can see, this is the DuckDB explain plan for the query. If you've used DuckDB before, you've probably seen one of these. So the query is being completely executed by DuckDB. Now that we're done, we can copy our results to S3, in a, and we'll store these in a CSV, which makes it really easy for the boss to pull it into Microsoft Excel. And there we go. It's copied to S3 in just five seconds, and we're done. Let's go home early.